Today on TFL Now, we are introducing the top of the line 2022 Tundra Capstone. That's right, so we've got a new trim on the all new 2022 Tundra, and this is the one that's got all the goodies. Toyota describes it as the halo grade in the Tundra lineup, and it arrives in dealers this spring. So Case, first of all, what do you think of these ultra luxury trucks? Yeah, I mean, obviously mixed feelings about them because you want to use a truck as a truck, abuse it a little bit, and these are expensive trucks. And another thing for the usability of this truck is that this capstone is only going to be available with a crew max and a five and a half foot bed. Yeah, so not the available other configurations that you can get on the Tundra lineup. So if we look at like some other vehicles within the lineup, for example, um, you can get a vehicle with a six and a half foot bed and a double cab configuration. There's also an 8.1 foot bed with a double cab, but this one is only the crew max with the 5.5. So as is similar with other uh, trucks in the ultra luxury lineup, it's pretty limited on its kind of work usability from a bed standpoint, but it does make up for that in a lot of design. So what is one of the headline design aspects of this truck? Yeah, here's something that's kind of in your face. 22 inch wheels, those are the largest wheels that have ever been offered on a Tundra from the factory and they look it, they're huge. Yeah, I mean, they are massive for sure. And uh, compared to other vehicles in the Tundra lineup too, they even look pretty big and impressive. Now, when you look at like the Tundra lineup, so at the base end of the spectrum is the SR, up from there is the SR5, then we've got the Limited, the Platinum, the 1794, and now the capstone. And at the end of this video, we're gonna kind of compare some of the different trims and see how the capstone brings some new features to the table. But apart from the 22 inch wheels, there are a couple of other distinguishing factors on the exterior. So it's got a color keyed um, outer grill surround. So the grill frame is tied into the body color of the truck and a chrome inner mesh grill. And what do you think of the grill design? It's actually cool. So the, the Tundra that we have here at the office has a different color on that grill surround. So a little bit of contrast, but not everybody likes that. And the grill on these trucks are so big, it is a good way to distinguish from one model to the next. You've also got a chrome Tundra tailgate insert and then a ton of power accessories, power features like automatic running boards and a standard power step for the bed. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you're exactly right. So what we're seeing with the capstone is a lot of the optional goodies that you might find on a limited, like we have here, a platinum, a 1794 are going to be standard on the capstone, which is pretty, um, pretty much what we see in other trucks in the market from the GMC Sierras to the, the Rams and that kind of thing. So we'll talk about those in a second, but as we keep talking about this new capstone, as Case mentioned, it's got the standard uh, power running board, the standard power bed step, and it also has standard adaptive variable suspension with the height leveling function in the rear. So it's got rear um, uh, ability to compensate for load in the bed. And then what's the standard powertrain? The only powertrain option on this capstone is the iForce Max, that is the high system with 437 horsepower through a 10 speed automatic. So a very premium powertrain setup that we're excited to do some testing with. Yeah, so this is where things get a little bit interesting because currently if you want to buy a 2022 Tundra, you can only get it with the standard uh, twin turbo V6. So it's a 3.5 liter. It's a great engine, but there is no hybrid currently available. Now they're saying that this is arriving in dealers this spring, which means that we're gonna have to start seeing some more specific specs on on the hybrid. I'm talking about like fuel economy numbers, which we still don't know. So there are two models which are upcoming in the Tundra lineup. The, the Capstone, which we're talking about today, and also the TRD Pro, those are both hybrid only specific trims, which is why they're currently not out. But I'm excited to see what the fuel economy ratings will be. And those have to be coming out soon if this truck is gonna be out this spring. So talk to me about max towing and max payload. Yeah, so some ratings that we do actually have the numbers for are towing, which is 10,340 pounds, and payload, which is 1,485 pounds. So not the best figures that you can get in the entire class, but this is a spec'd out truck. So obviously there's going to be some of that payload and everything that's dedicated to all of these nice power features that add some weight to the truck. It's not a work truck, 
but you still have decent ratings for being able to tow things and put stuff in the bed. Well, what I appreciate is that Toyota actually has come up and told us the towing and the payload for the specific trim, because oftentimes the OEMs will just be like, it's got a max towing of 12,000 pounds or 14,000 pounds, but that's like the base model, stripped down model. With, Two-wheel drive, yeah. Yeah, short bed, that kind of thing. But at least on the capstone, they've come out and said, this is what the towing capacity is. This is the payload. So payload of 1485, pretty similar to actually our limited Tundra that we've been doing our long-term test on, which I think when you are viewing this from a truck enthusiast perspective, you're probably like, oh, 1,400 pounds, it doesn't sound like much. But when you consider that some of the half-ton trucks, especially the limited and the luxury trims, especially in the um, kind of the performance trims like the TRX, you're looking at like, even in some cases, under 1,000 pounds of payload. Yeah. So 1485 is okay. Um, and then this also has the tr towing technology pack standard. So it does like the, the trailer back up assist guidance. Um, and then also the blind spot monitoring can recognize the trailer as well. And like all Tundras, it comes standard with the Toyota, Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. What does that include, Case? Yeah, the Toyota Safety Sense gets you a ton of features. You get automatic emergency braking, so a pre-collision braking system. You also get dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert, auto high beams. You get sign assist, rear seat reminder, and then blind spot monitoring. There's a ton here. Ra rear cross traffic alert. It's a lot of different systems that come standard with this. Tech is one of the really big features on this capstone. Absolutely. So colors wise, uh, wind chill pearl, magnetic gray metallic, celestial silver metallic, midnight black metallic, supersonic red, and blueprint. So lots of different color options. This is pretty cool. Sometimes in the luxury trims, they do severely limit you to color options. However, it's worth noting, check out the Toyota website. If you have like a specific color in mind, you might be able to get it on other trims. Um, and, and maybe not every trim. So for example, like the 1794 has a really kind of rich dark brown called smoked mesquite. So it's worth noting that you do have to kind of look across the board if the color you want is not on the capstone. So let's kind of talk about some of the inside stuff because there is some cool stuff going on. What do you think of the capstone specific black and white leather seats? I love that. I have a car with black and white leather seats and I think it's a really good look. So yeah, black and white seats, pretty cool. You also get dark American walnut open pour wood, which is a really long name for your trim. I do like the wood actually. It looks like it's got some inlay in it too. So it, it appears to be really well done. I mean, if you go back like 10, 15 years, some of the wood like trims in, in trucks was pretty horrible. Yeah. And it was shiny and it was clearly plastic, but on the Tundra, it looks to be like a nice finish. And then when we talk about the capstone specific logos, it's obviously found on the outside, but on the inside, it also has capstone in front of the passenger on the dash and it's backlit, which I think looks pretty cool. Yeah, and it's also surrounded by a walnut inlay. So it's a pretty nice looking thing to have on your dashboard. You also get a standard panoramic sunroof, which is always nice. And one of the really interesting things about the Tundra is it actually has acoustic glass. So it should be quieter on this interior cabin than any of the other Tundras in the lineup. Yeah, and the capstone is the only Tundra to feature that. So when we talk about the capstone, it's, in a lot of ways, um, a, a, a Tundra with all the options included, but there are a couple of things like the acoustic glass, which are specific to this Unique, luxury trim. Yeah. So technology, 12.3 inch cluster screen standard, 10 inch heads up display standard, 14 inch main screen standard. Um, and because it's got the big 14 inch screen, it's got like uh, the, the cool tech that you'd come to expect. So it's got um, dual Bluetooth phone connectivity, which is kind of funky. It's got standard voice controls, standard wireless Apple CarPlay. So lots and lots of tech in the capstone trim. So overall, what do you think of this truck? It's nice and it should be because there's a lot of trucks that it has to go up against. There's plenty of competition in this area because more and more people in recent years have been driving trucks as their main form of transportation. So they've been getting more and more luxurious. And some of that competition includes the F-150 Limited. That starts at $73,105. There's also the new GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate, which was just released, and that's $80,395. And then, of course, you have the Ram Limited at $59,910 and Nissan's Titan Platinum Reserve for $62,710. So that's kind of a big range for all of the flagship trucks from the different manufacturers. And again, pricing is not yet released on this Tundra, but we would imagine it's gonna be somewhere in this 60 to $80,000 range that all of the other flagship trucks 
are competing in. Yeah, and it's also worth noting, like, some manufacturers do it differently. So uh, certain manufacturers have all the options on the top-line truck, and then there's nothing left to choose. Other manufacturers, like Ram... Uh, track the starting price on the limited at 60, but then you can get it way yeah. up from there when you start specking it out. Now, what I do want to do is check out the Tundra 1794, which is currently kind of the top dog in the Tundra lineup. So that starts at 57,690. But let's kind of add some of the features that Capstone has and see, kind of, you know, guesstimate what the base price might be. So just like the Capstone, the 1794 uh, comes equipped with standard leather. Um, and then uh, there's also an optional spec as well, which is quite nice. And then up from there, lots and lots of different packages. So um, the blind spot monitoring with tow mirrors, power running boards are going to be standard on the capstone, right? Yep. Um, we also see some advanced uh, package options, which might include um, some of the, 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 the features like blind spot and power running boards in kind of like one big bundle. So pricing on the... 1794, somewhere in like the mid 60s when you start specking it out nice. Now, 1794 is more of like the Western theme. Yeah, kind, kind of like, like a, a King Ranch kind of thing or a Longhorn. Yeah, exactly right. And 1794 is actually um, a date in reference to the cattle ranch where the Toyota facility now sits, where they manufacture um, the pickup trucks. But we can also do like a quick com comparison of the different models. So let me eliminate the SR and the SR5s. Sorry, but those are not anywhere near the luxury <laughs> luxury uh, spec or trims. But if we like look at the Limited, the 1794 and the Platinum, you can see that there are some things that are going to be standard on the capstone. So for example, on the Platinum and the 1794, the 10-inch color heads-up display is available. It's going to be standard on the the platinum um, and we see that with like the lighting is available on the limited is standard on these higher end uh, specs as well power running boards once again available on the platinum available on the 1794 standard on the capstone so if you want all of the goodies in one truck without having to check boxes yeah. if you want the big wheels if you want some kind of cool wood trim and some inlays this is pretty cool yeah and the acoustic glass the acoustic glass is pretty unique yeah, I'm curious to see if that's really going to make much of a difference. Yeah, we'll have to do a little sound test with our Tundra and a capstone whenever we get our hands on one. Yep, for sure. Well, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. This has been Tommy. And Case. Yeah, we'll see you on the next episode.